In this video, I'm going to show you how to implement Internet Button with AWS IoT, ESP32 and Mongoose OS in two minutes. We need to have three things done before. First, download, install and configure AWS command line utility. You have to be able to run AWS IoT list-policies and that command should return without any error and without any prompt. Second, download and install MOS command line tool from mongoose-os.com. And third, get any ESP32 board, here I have DevKit C, and connect it to your computer. Type MOS in your terminal, or double-click in your own Windows. That starts a web UI, choose your serial port, click on Select, select ESP32 platform, and choose demo.js app, click on Flash. That installs JavaScript enabled firmware. Okay, now we have it installed. You can see the parameters here together with the device ID. Now configure Wi Fi. Click on Set. So now we are done. This board is now online. Click on Done. Here what we see is the JavaScript code that runs this device. Click on Device Config and provision this board to the AWS IoT. Choose your region. In my case it's US to N. And choose your policy. If you're in doubt, choose MOS Default Policy and click on Provision with AWS IoT. That generates certificates on AWS IoT and copies them to the device and configures MQTT client. So we are done now. Click back on Projects tab and particularly the code that we are interested in is this button handler. When we click on button, we send an MQTT message to the specified topic. So and the topic is here. So let's click and you can see in the logs published one, then the topic name, and the message. So uh, I clicked on auto scroll to disable auto scroll and copy the topic name. Now I switch to AWS IoT console, type IoT and click on AWS IoT and click on test that starts a web-based MQTT client and subscribe to the topic we are publishing to. Subscribe. Now let me click button again and what we see are messages with free RAM and total RAM numbers. So from this point on we can utilize AWS IoT cloud capabilities to route that message elsewhere. For example, store it in Dynamo or forward to Lambda. And by the way, the same example works the same way with other hardware architectures Mongoose OS supports. Hope you liked this video. Please subscribe to the channel and let us know if you want any other specific topic covered.